There's a Tucson connection to a revered actor who died last night. Sidney Poitier was in 94. A film he made in Tucson made him the first African American to win an Oscar. Not on your side's Craig Smith talked with a Tucson actor who shared the big screen with Poitier. Sidney Poitier lived a life filled with honors for his work on stage and screen and for his dedication to civil rights. One of his earlier honors was a Best Actor Oscar for Lilies of the Field. He plays a man passing through Arizona. A group of nuns charm him into building them a chapel. That chapel stands in Sassabee today, but most of the movie was shot in Tucson. The actress who played one of those nuns remembers how charming Poitier could be. He was very generous, a charming, delightful man and we were under enormous pressure because that movie was filmed in 10 days one two three takes and I was to, I'd never made a movie before and so it was on the job training I didn't know how to hit a mark and and Sidney was so supportive he really knew how difficult this was going to be for me Francesca Jarvis says she was able to get that first movie job because the producers wanted Poitier to be the only well-known actor in the film. That way the audience would focus on his performance. Francesca Jarvis had done stage work before, but the success of Lilies of the Field launched her film and TV career. I was able to go on to make 25 films, movies of the week. I did Gunsmokes and Little House on the Prairie. The second film I did was Life and Times with Judge Roy Bean with Paul Newman, where I played a prostitute. So <laughs> I went from a nun to a prostitute, and I figured everything else was fair game in the, <laughs> in the middle. And even at age 89, she is ready to belt out the signature song from Lilies in the Field. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Craig Smith, KGON 9 on your side. Wow, very impressive. Great to see her.